Let's use Nitrobomb to quickly find build material cost differences between a current design and one that was already released. To do this, we're going to use Nitrobomb to extract the bill of materials out of a Creo assembly and write it to Excel. That'll automatically create the required tables and connections into Power Query, but we're going to add some manual connections in Power Query to an older BOM and some cost data. When that's all tied together, it will write out a table to Excel of the BOM cost difference. When it's all set up, everything you export from there on forward will just automatically compute. So in this particular example, we have a bill of materials that is currently released, and we want to compare it to a new design that we're currently working on within Creo to evaluate what are the component differences and also the cost differences. So we just have to connect Nitrobomb to that file and press the export button. It'll extract the bill of materials out of Creo and write them into the various reports that we standardly do. And as you can see here, it's created the Power Query connections to that data also. However, the previous BOM doesn't have a Power Query connection, so we're going to create that by using a range reference. And the only thing we're going to really do here is just make a change to add a new column to take the current quantity that's released and multiply it by minus one. This will be a reference quantity for comparing the differences between the two data sets, which you'll see here in just a second. Once we've done this, we're going to load this back into the data model, um, and it's just going to show up as a, another query that's available within Power Query. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to import our cost data um, that comes from the ERP system. So we're going to grab that and create a connection to that particular data. And in this case, we're just going to do a load to and use a connection also. Um, so we're just loading these references for, the, for Power Query to use. We're not really populating Excel with this data at this point. So we've got this data that's out there. And the first thing I want to do is I want to add a new column. Uh, that basically takes um, the current total components bill of materials and just repeats the quantity. The reason for that is we want the ref quantity column to be the same as the uh, previous bill of materials column, which you'll see uh, here, because would we, when we do the comparisons between these bills, we want to align those columns and that data together. So we're going to append those two data sets and we're going to pick the total components and also the previous bill of materials. As you can see here, it's bringing kind of everything together. So we want to expand this out a little bit uh, to include only the reference quantity, the description, and the components. Now we'll do something pretty neat with Power Query. And that is we'll group this data by that information. And we'll also uh, come up with a difference. And the way you do that is you just, instead of counting the elements, we'll do a sum on a particular column, in this case, quantity. As you can see here, we have some uh, items that show no differences and others that show positive and minus differences. We're going to remove the zeros because they're exactly the same. We don't care about those. We're looking for only the differences in this case. And uh, a really nice feature within uh, Power Query is the ability to kind of add other data into an existing query. So I'm going to take that cost data and append it. We're going to expand that out a little bit. We really only need the unit cost for this. And then it's just a matter of finding the extended cost um, for the uh, differences that are here. So we're just going to add a custom column real quick and say uh, our difference quantity is going to be times our unit cost. And then we'll just rename it as extended cost. And we're almost done. So um, we're going to save this data down and it's going to create a new worksheet when we do this and show us the report of that. So a simple adding of a total row and maybe some basic formatting on this table. Uh, to make it a little bit more human readable um, and obvious is a very good thing to do. So we're going to make some changes here. Now, what happens if we go and alter the BOM structure? So we have this set up in Excel and it's all ready to go, but let's make some changes in Creo to add a few more components in and um, let's see what the impact of that is. So when we do the export reports to that same file, you'll notice it did the computation. It's automatically recomputed everything. And you can see that now we have a bomb difference and in this particular case, a cost increase due to those changes. Thanks for watching. We hope this inspires you to use Nitrobomb in new and creative ways. And we look forward to your business. Please visit us at simplifiedlogic.com.